I just got a new iPhone. It's the iPhone um, uh, Square Enix. Anyway, it's it's white and it's got a blue asshole in the screen. I'm gonna review this today. Today on Box Mac. I mean, EJ review. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Hi, my name is EJ Massa. Apple just released a new iPhone, and wouldn't you know it, the secret clock in my iPhone went off and made it not work no more. So I decided to pick up the new iPhone SE and check out its video and photo capabilities. Cell phones are getting pretty good nowadays, and people are even making motion pictures with them things. With cell phones. Like that film Tangerine, a whole motion picture made with cell phones. The camera and sensor are pretty much the same as the iPhone 6S, so you could probably watch those reviews. You don't even need me. You don't need me. Well, you know what? This review is for me. It's for me, damn it. Apple's design engineers have really outdone themselves this time. Here's the old iPhone 5S. Ew. Disgusting. What a hunk of garbage. And here's the brand new SE. Oh. Damn! Masterful design. 10 out of 10. Best design ever. Yeah, it's the same. I'm not a huge phablet fan, and even the 6S regular um, felt a little too flimsy to me. The SE's body is just nice and small, it feels solid, and I just, I just like it. I just like it. The iPhone SE has various recording modes. It has 1080p 30 frames per second, 1080p 60 frames per second, but the one I'm really interested in trying out for myself is of course the 4K. Cause the 4K is the best, duh. The 1080p mode shouldn't be completely written off though because that mode utilizes a digital stabilization algorithm while the 4K one doesn't. So the handheld shots will look uh, a little jello-y, you know? So for most off the cuff stuff, just use the 1080p mode if you just want to get the shot. Let's stop dicking around though. Let's look at that 4K footage iPhones tend to work really well in outdoor areas with plenty of light and not a lot of contrast. So if you frame your shot carefully, you can come up with some amazing results. The image is nice and crisp, almost too crisp with that very digital, sharp look. Oh man, these are the saddest fucking flowers I've ever seen. And this flower, you know what? I don't think it's real, because it's, it's bigger than a man. And there ain't no flowers that big. Except for this stink flower. It smells like trash. It's, I think it eats things, like animals and raccoons. <laughs> you should look that up. The 4K works pretty well if you have steady hands, and you can probably make some pretty compelling travel videos, especially if you don't want to lug around another device so it can get lost or stolen. Once you get indoors, the image starts to come apart. This low light shot was only lit with a nearby window, and it's a noise filled mess. Hey, look at all these new cameras. Which should I review next? Maybe this one? What kind of memory card does it take? If it's one of those XQD cards, then you can just fuck right off. There's probably many apps that will improve the image quality of the video, but I wanted to get a feel for the out of the box iPhone camera. And you know, a more robust app is a review for another day. So the 4K is lovely given the right circumstances. And not only that, you get wonderful slow-mo, up to 240 frames per second at 720p. No monkey, no, no! The rear camera is great. What about the front-facing camera? Something to write home about. I mean, it's just a 1.2 megapixel camera and it does 720p. I mean, and it, look, it, it looks like this. This is it. You know, it's for selfies. It does selfies. Enough about that front facing camera, let's talk about that rear facing camera again. 12 megapixel photos. How does it work? What does it do? Is it good? Let's take a look. It works like an iPhone. In that it's very good in most situations and terrible in others. Again, namely indoors. I use the HDR function for most of these outdoor ones because, you know, this is a out of the box iPhone. You don't have camera raw option. I mean, I'm sure there's an app for that. Oh man, this Elmo has seen shit. Just look at that 1,000 mile stare. He's been tickled one time too many.
For everyday Instagram photos, it works just fine. Especially if you are documenting Box Mac and Junt Adventures. And of course, there's that little time lapse mode. You can make a quick and easy time lapse. Nothing fancy, but you know, it's good. So there's that feature called Live Photo. Touch this weird circle cluster here, and it's enabled. It's basically a burst photography mode that when you take a picture, it actually takes a burst of pictures that like three seconds in duration. And then when you look at it in a photo app, you hold your finger on it and it comes alive and you can view the moments right after. Not all apps support live photos. I think you can upload to Facebook. I think they support it. But you can use third party apps like Lively to create a video or a GIF from the live photo in your phone and share it like that. Lively is also nice because you can export individual frames from that live photo. Other than that, you can import the live photo to your desktop photo app and get a video from there. So it's neat. I'm glad it's there, but it doesn't really blow my mind. So basically, who cares? Tumblr probably likes it. Yeah, definitely Tumblr. Do you tumble? I don't even know what it is. My only concern about this iPhone is that I'm worried it'll collect dust under its lens, like my iPhone 5S. It can cause light streaks and blotches all over your video or picture. I actually took the intro video with a 5S and you can see some smudgies there. Although I never had a case for my iPhone 5S, so I got a case for my iPhone SE, so hopefully dust won't enter all the nooks and crannies. No, wait, there's an opening right there that's not protected. I can see the dust coming in. So the iPhone SE is a great just carry around all the time with you video and photo tool, as long as you know the limitations. I love that it has the form factor of the iPhone 5S combined with the video capabilities of the iPhone 6S. You know, Chase Jarvis always says the best camera is the one that's with you. And you know what? The iPhone SE is not a bad companion. i talk about the other features of the iPhone SE, but then I'd have to stop playing Mitomo. Let's see what's going on in the Mitomo world. It's so fun. Look, I'm a cat ninja. Mm, what's my favorite junk food? Oh, I know. Blood, 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 blood. There's some videos here, but if you also want to see all of my reviews, check out the playlist in the description below. And if you want to see the photos from this review, just look at the Flickr link in the description below and just click on any of these videos you think look good. You look good. We all look good. Says the best camera is the one that's with you, and the iPhone s s SE is that it? I always want to say like seven, or the shit one that's cheap.